So this is a video I don't really want to make, but if I don't make it, then I might not be able to pay my bills, and I'll not be able to eat food or pay my rent, and I'll be homeless and starving. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's not looking good for me. <laughs> I gotta level with you. It's not, it's not in my favor, this situation. So as a lot of you know, YouTube at this point has implemented a new uh, demonetization feature. A lot of people like to call it that. I like to call it bullshit. Demonetization bullshit, but apparently people prefer to call it a feature. So the basic premise of this feature is YouTube automatically detects something that may be perceived as controversial, or, as they like to call it, not suitable for all advertisers. Now the basic idea here is that if they detect anything in your video, be it in the title, tags, description, thumbnail, or something in the video that has been automatically detected by their automated system, then you may either make no money at all, or very little money. Some people have claimed that it's around the 5% area of what a person normally would make on videos back before this was implemented. And of course, because I make videos about a game called Bully, I am, of course, experiencing this at this point. Bully is a very stigmatized word. I know this. We all know this. Bullying is bad. Duh. No shit, right? And of course, YouTube is gonna side with the people who cry out against it, because why wouldn't they? They are a business. They want to maximize profit. But the thing that annoys me beyond anything else is the exclusion of context in my case. Bully, as a lot of you know by now, is a game that actually condemns bullying. The main protagonist of the game speaks out against bullies on several occasions. You're a degenerate! The think I trusted you! It wasn't me! Yeah, I'm no saint, but I tried to bring order to the school to stop the bullying. But I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. Patrick was right. I am a loser. No, you're not. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, we can't let bullies like Mr. Hattrick win. But of course, the people at YouTube don't actually know this, even though they've been making thousands of dollars, possibly even millions, over the span of five years. But at this point, they're cracking down on bullying. And it's not just bullying in and of itself, it's the word bully. I've thought about rebranding my videos to Canis Canim Edit, but I'm seriously doubtful that it's gonna do anything, because there's been several videos of mine that have been flagged as not suitable for all advertisers as well. This is a video by Eggman. Eggy, Egg White, whatever you want to call him. He sent me this video as a private thank you because I helped him out financially at a time of need. Yes, I know, what a horrendous video, right? The video consists of Eggy just thanking me and being like, hey man, I checked out your videos and they're cool. And that was the end of it. DEMONETIZED. Although, to be fair, ads may still show up on it. I haven't seen any, I've checked, none have popped up, but I may be able to earn 5% of what I normally would had this video been published. And of course, there's gonna be people in the comment section who say, Oh, well, Swigta, you can just request a review, that's a feature now, right? Well, that is correct. The problem being that they only review your video once it has received a thousand views within seven days. Now, I can easily manage this, so the views in and of themselves are not the issue. The issue is how long it takes for YouTube to review my videos. It's been about three days now, and two out of the ten videos that I have requested reviews for have been approved. The eight remaining videos have yet to be reviewed. At all. When it comes to making money on YouTube, you cannot simply rely solely on viral videos. At some point, those videos will diminish in monthly views, and subsequently they will fall back into obscurity. This happens to 90% of the videos I make. I make a video, it gets views, then slowly but surely over time, the views become less frequent. It's basic supply and demand. Man, you can see this with record sales, you can see this with viewers on television. Reruns simply do not get as many views as premieres. Whenever I publish a video, most of my ad revenue from that video will be coming from the people who see the video the moment it goes live. I no longer have that. Or, I have 5%. 
of that. So 95% of my earnings from new videos are just gone. They're no longer. Because YouTube is taking way too long to review my videos. I am a foul mouth asshole at times. Sometimes I say things that I should not be saying. I can recognize this. And I did immediately take this into account the moment I saw this hitting my channel. So, I made a video. This video was titled Breaking Bully Episode 4 Getting the Go-Kart in Chapter 2. This video is completely, completely clean from any bad words. It is completely kosher in content. The video in and of itself is 100% informative. It is simply a video where I explain to my audience how they can obtain this in-game unlockable. That's the whole video. It's, it's a tutorial. It is a bland tutorial video with some sprinkles of swag tub swigginess on it. And that's it. That's all I did. Demonetized. So even if I try and succeed in restricting myself in speech and abiding by the rules, no matter how preposterous and silly they are, I will still not win. My video views have been steadily increasing over the past couple of years. And that's been a lot of fun, and I do appreciate the support I've been given. But at this point, it just doesn't cut it, financially speaking. At this point, I can either ask you guys for help and be completely transparent of what is going on, or I'll have to get a job again. I'll have to do something else for a living. I don't get many views on YouTube, but I do occasionally get donations, and I do run a fairly popular website. YouTube, for the longest amount of time, has been my major source of income. The views I get may not be plentiful in quantity, but they definitely add up, and they do pay out in the end. I don't know how long that will be for. I may only have a month before my ad revenue tanks. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I've been observant. I've been trying to be patient. I've been looking into what YouTube has to say, and they're not telling us much. They're being very, very vague about it. The closest thing to any answer I've found has been on Reddit, from people claiming to work for YouTube. And a lot of these people have been expressing their own frustration regarding this new system. Now here's the problem. Let's say that YouTube backs away from this ever so slightly, to the extent that most people can get by. I strongly doubt that I will be among those people, and I'll tell you why. Again. It's because of the name of the game I make videos about. Bullying is very stigmatized, and rightfully so, it's a dick thing to do. But when it comes to positive messages about bullying, i.e. people speaking out against it, or giving their own backstory and explaining how they got through high school despite being picked on, positive messages like these are treated as if they exploit bullying for profit. Simply because of the title, simply because of the description of the video, simply because of the tags, and sometimes even because of the thumbnail. And when it comes to my content, which in most cases has bully in the title, <laughs> yeah. Suffice to say that YouTube does not treat me well anymore. Every video I make automatically gets flagged. That is insane. There, there's no way for me to evade this, and I have considered labeling my videos Canis Canim Edit, but I have heard from some people on Twitter and Facebook that it simply doesn't cut it. Because look at it this way, there are people on YouTube who make Sonic videos. Basic Let's Plays of Sonic the Hedgehog games. A lot of those videos have been deemed not suitable for all advertisers as well. If Sonic the fucking Hedgehog is too controversial and too filthy for YouTube to touch with a 5 foot pole? What do you think the reaction on Bully is gonna be? And if this is not bad enough, let me show you this. This is an experiment on the demonetization feature. This video is an A. It's, it's just the letter A in different fonts and colors. Demonetized. Not suitable for advertisers. The letter A is, is too controversial at this point. This is insanity. Speaking of insanity, guess the fuck what? Insanity Edition? Yeah, demonetized. At least 70% of the Insanity Edition episodes I've made have been demonetized or restricted in ads. I'm at a loss for words. The, the letter A. 
Sonic. Do, like, do you see what I'm dealing with? This is what YouTube has become. I made an attempt to contact Curse, my network, for any kind of details they could give me, and they've given me none. None. All they did was send me a couple of links to YouTube's support page. You know, the page we've all been reading through time and time again ever since this all took place? Yeah, that page. And I don't blame Curse, because Curse has no insight into the technical aspects of YouTube as far as this goes. But it just goes to show that there's no person I can turn to. Several people have made attempts to contact YouTube's partner email support, but it only gives them automatic copy-paste answers. Basically telling you, hey, if you don't want your videos demonetized, don't make videos about controversial stuff. YouTube. The letter A has been demonetized. A fucking letter. That's it. That's all it took. And if you don't think the letter A is stupid enough to be demonetized, let me, let me just point this out. There are several people who have reported their live streams being demonetized. Okay? But here's the, here's the big plot twist. Here's the big Shyamalan plot twist. This happened before their live streams even went live. Before the content was even made. Demonetized. Sonic. Bully, the letter A, and now soon to be existent content. All of which have now been deemed too filthy to monetize. So at this point I can either keep doing YouTube with the help from you guys because this has been the most fun I've ever had when it comes to doing something for money. I've worked in telemarketing. I've been restocking shelves in electronic stores. I do also have some basic experience in tech support. But none of these occupations have gotten close to being as fulfilling and as enjoyable as YouTube has been. This community means everything to me. It's not simply because I profit from it. Because the profit is almost insignificant. It is because I have a genuine dedication to this fan base, to this community, to the people who watch my videos. Whether we always agree or not is irrelevant. Because you will always get a sense of sincerity from me, whether you agree or disagree. And unlike a lot of people on this website, I welcome discourse, I welcome discussion. I do not want this to be the end of Swekta, I do not want this to be the end of me actively making videos. But it very well could be. If I don't pay my rent, which is what I used YouTube for, that's it. I'm gonna have to find some other means of staying afloat. And I don't want to do that, I want to keep doing this, because this is what I love doing. Money has never been the main driving force behind what I do. There are far more things that I could have done that all would have been way more lucrative than YouTube has ever been for me. But I did it because I fucking love doing this. And I cannot realistically keep doing it if I can't pay for my own existence. I don't know what my ad revenue is gonna be like in a couple of months from now. I don't know if YouTube is gonna back away from this. I don't know if it's gonna improve as far as bully videos go. Because there is no transparency behind the scenes. None whatsoever. The closest thing is hearsay on Reddit. So, down below I've linked my Patreon page. That is patreon.com forward slash swagta. Any donation, no matter at what sum is appreciated, it all adds up in the end and hopefully, hopefully, I will be able to reach the amount of money that I used to get from ad revenue. That is, until Google decided to implement this ludicrous new policy. If you go to my Patreon, you will see a list of different perks. These are rewards as a thank you from me to you for supporting my channel. You can request videos. You can get shoutouts in my live streams. You can get access to exclusive behind the scenes content. And hey, if you have any suggestions or ideas for perks, Please, by all means, do let me know in the comments. And also, I know there's gonna be people in the comment section saying, Oh, you have to pay money to request videos now? The intent behind Patreon is not so you can have an online store. The purpose behind me doing this is so that I can get support from you guys and I can give something in return as a thank you. If one person gives a dollar and another person gives a dollar and it just keeps piling up, eventually I may be able to subsist on the amount of money I used to get from YouTube. And hey, look, if you do not want to do the Patreon thing by giving monthly, you can actually 
make a one-time donation during my live streams. By the way, as a quick side note, because this is relevant to the main topic at hand, if you are considering using Super Chat, I appreciate that, that's a very kind gesture, but please, please do consider using the Streamlabs link down below in the description of the stream. That is swagta.com forward slash donate. Now the reason why I'm asking you to use that link instead of Super Chat is simply because Google takes a 30% cut, nearly a third of the Super Chat donations. I don't want them to have that money. I've been on this website for 11 years, I've been making content actively, and I've made YouTube thousands of dollars. They just stabbed me in the back. Now I know that I'm insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but I do think that I have a valid point. Thank you guys for listening to this rambling mess. If you have any questions regarding this, let me know in the comment section below. I have barely any insight into this at all. And by barely, I mean fucking barely anything at all. I will be doing my best to respond to any questions. This could be the end of Swegta, and I don't want that to be the case. I've attempted to comply with YouTube's fucking ridiculous demands, but even that is not enough. I gave it a sincere attempt, but I still end up getting fucked over, royally. Again, link to my Patreon down below, patreon.com forward slash swagta. Thank you for listening, I hope you guys have a good night. Peace. Come on, we can't let bullies like YouTube win.